be listening from. This is your 10 minute plugin. And I'm your Bazida, for, uh, sorry, I'm your host for today, Abazida Joyce Murigi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be listening from. This is yet another episode of 10 Minute Plugin. And I'm your host for today, Abazida Joyce Murigi from Nairobi, Kenya. We also have studios in Africa. <laughs> MBN is worldwide. MBN is international. Thank you, thank you. I see I have been joined by two people. Hi, hola, uh, Bazida Victoria, Queen Victoria, the most beautiful uh, daughter of the most high God. How are you? Hola, hola. Good to see you in the house all the way from Spain. How is Spain? Oh, thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Lady V. How are you? How is Savannah, Georgia? You are tuning from Savannah, uh, Georgia in the US. How is Savannah, Georgia? How is Spain? Abazada, Victoria. You two are amazing human beings and I'm not going to tire to say that. You are, you know, the most hardworking um, human beings that I know. You work for MBN or you work for God to establish the kingdom of God in this world with a lot of um, uh, pride, with a lot of zeal, with, um, you know, a lot of joy. And I am so, so, so glad that I get to serve the kingdom of God with you two ladies. You are so beautiful inside out. And anybody um, who knows you or the people who don't know you, I would really love that they get to experience you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so glad to see you in the house. How are you? Let me see whether there is anyone else. Hola, 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 I can see we have been joined by a couple of other people. Thank you so much for finding time to join us in this yet another episode of um, Plugin from MBN, and I'm your host for today, Abazada Joyce Murigi. So we continue with um, the basics. <laughs> so we talked about sin, uh, we talked about uh, salvation, you know, sin is what separates us from God. And we talked about the, I mean, different uh, 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 types of sins, the deadly sins. And we saw how we get separated from uh, God by sin. We also talked about salvation. And uh, we know that uh, salvation is our of us being reconciled back to God. And Jesus Christ is the one who was sent to reconcile us back to God so that we can get to taste or so that we can get to have life eternal and life with God. And you know what? Life with God starts here, right here on this world. And that is why we establish the kingdom of God, because we want to experience God. We want to have that life with God. Once we start life with God here on earth, it is going to be eternal. If we do not choose the path or the way of the Lord, then we are also going to have um, to be troubled forever. And we are going, we might face death, which is going to separate us from the love of Christ, the love of God, and from being with God forever. So today uh, we are building on and we want to be uh, good Christians. We want to be good ambassadors. So we are going to see what uh, Lord Jesus Christ left to us as a model prayer so that we can follow when we are conversing with God, when we are talking to God, we have a model that Jesus Christ left uh, with us so that we can get to know how to talk to God and so that we can also get to know how, you know, what environment to create to speak to our God. So the, 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 I mean, the, the prayer or the model prayer is one prayer that we uh, like to, you know, to, to, to say of, often, and it is our Father. So our Father, 
That is the way the model prayer starts. Why our father? We need to create that environment where it is a father and son or a father and daughter talking. The daughter is talking to the, uh, the, the father or the son is talking to the father. So it is a close and intimate relationship where there is nothing that there is any kind of barrier because a relationship between a child and a father is that a relationship of love. It is um, it's a relationship of freedom. It's a, a relationship where, um, you know, there, there is, uh, I, I can say there is peace. There, there is, um, you know, you are reaching your father. So there is really no barrier. So you are, it is a relaxed environment. So you are creating that environment of a father and daughter, a father and son. That is why we have to start with our father. So the environment has been created. Then we go on and say, hallowed be thy name. So we go and tell God that your name is holy. You are the most honored. You know, so you, you're, you're telling God that because you, you, you're actually um, telling him that, you know, beyond you, there is no other. You are the most revered God. You are the, you know, the holy one. Because, uh, you know, when we, uh, we are talking to our fathers, we also want to uh, get their attention. So you are getting his attention, first of all, by calling him, you are, uh, my father, your father. Then you're telling him, beyond you, there is no other. You are the most holy God and you are the most honored. So you are, you know, uh, creating that environment and you are, uh, you know, getting his attention. You want to get his attention. Then you tell him your kingdom come. Why are we asking him uh, to let his kingdom come? Because if we allow whatever, he allows whatever happens in heaven to come to the world and to influence the systems of the world, then we are going to be in a better place. We are going to be in a better world. So we want him to allow his kingdom to come and influence the structures and the systems of this world. You know, we want his kingdom to be established in our homes. We want his a kingdom to be established in our relationships. We want his a, um, kingdom to be established in our market our places or in our workplaces. We want his kingdom to be established between, uh, you know, the, in, the, in the families, between uh, parents and children. We want his uh, um, kingdom to be established in the governments that govern this world. Because if the governments are get to be influenced by the kingdom of God, then we are going to have that model of a kingdom where everybody gets to participate and everybody gets, um, I mean, it feels catered for. We feel as, as nationals, or uh, yeah, of this world, we feel that we are being catered for by our governments because they are emulating a kingdom that was founded or rather is founded on love. So if the kingdoms of this world are founded on love, then all of us get to enjoy this life. We get to enjoy the authorities and we get to do to work together for the glory of God. Then it goes to say, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Why? Because his will is the best. You know, we say not our will, but your will, Father. Why? Because he knew us uh, from the beginning. He knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs. He's the one who created this world. So he knows what we require. He knows what our needs are. He, he, he wants the best for us. And so his will must be, uh, be best for us. So by saying that your will be done or not, uh, uh, I mean, it means that his will being the best, then the best is going to happen. Give us this day our daily bread. Why? Because we require bread to go about our lives. But it's not just bread. We are asking God to supply to our needs in accordance to his riches in glory. We are asking him to bless the works of our hands. We are asking him to be involved in everything that we do because we, we want him to provide unto us. Because if he doesn't provide unto us, then we go without provision. So when we say that, um, give us this day our daily bread, we are asking him, bless our daily works, bless everything that we do. 
And in, the, in return, God give us bread because we require bread to go about our lives. We require bread, we require energies, we require food to go about our lives. But let that come from you, God. Then we go on and say, uh, forgive our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. This um, model prayer suggests that we need to forgive first before we ask God to forgive us. So if you want God to forgive us, then we must be able to forgive. And I know there is a disciple who asked Jesus, how many times should we forgive? And Jesus said, you know, many times, huh? seven, seven, seven times. And, but that means endless times because we also ask God to, give, to forgive us endless times. So if we want God to forgive us, we must be able to forgive, to forgive first. And God does not keep records. He does not keep records for wrong. So even us, we don't need to forgive and keep going there. That is not forgiveness. When we forgive, we need to forgive in totality. Because even when God uh, forgives us, he forgives us in totality. So we must forgive if we want God to forgive us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know, because if he allow us to be tempted by the devil, then we are exposed to the devil and we are exposed to the evil one. And uh, we are going to be tormented by the devil. So what are we asking? We are asking for his protection. We are asking him to create a hedge of protection around us. We are asking him to hide us under his wings. We are asking him to cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ, where the devil cannot do us no harm. Because when he exposes us, if he does not protect us, the devil is going to harm us. The devil is going to kill us. He's going to steal us. He's going to destroy us. So we must ask for, uh, for God's protection each and every day, each and every time. So when we say that uh, leader, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil, we actually ask, are asking for the protection. You pro For God to protect us, to protect our health, to protect our investments, to protect our children, to protect our money, to protect everything so that it doesn't waste away. And for then finally, we end by saying, for us is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Yes, but the kingdom of God lasts forever. He has all the power. And everything that was created in this world was created so that it can glorify him. Because in the end, he is going, he's the one who, you know, who, who he has everything. He's the owner of everything. He has the kingdom, both earth and, uh, and, and heaven. It's only that he gave us um, a, a free mind so that we can decide what comes to the earth or what, or what as, gets established on the earth. We are co-workers with him in the earth, but both kingdoms, both earth and the kingdom of heaven are his. So he is the one who is going to be the end. He's the one who is going to be the last. Because we also say that he is the omega and, um, I, I mean, alpha and omega. So he is the beginning and he's the end. And he has all the power. He has all the glory. Because when we talk about uh, being uh, him being glorified with our works, him being glorified by everything that has breath in this world and everything that lives in this world, then we are telling him that everything belongs to him and everything he created he created for his own glory and that purpose needs to be manifested and needs to be loved and to be lived as much so i hope this model our prayer uh, has helped you uh, the people who are growing in faith in the work of with the with the lord i i pray that uh, this has uh, helped uh, you to you know, to have that uh, relationship as you pray, to have that environment of, of communication as you communicate with God, to help you so that you can uh, talk to God as your father and you can create that environment and then you can follow the format and add your own uh, uh, own, own um, uh, words and add your own needs, add your own uh, preferences if you may, but this model uh, prayer helps us to talk to God in a manner that um, is, is, is uh, creating an environment where we get to talk to our father. We have an intimate relationship. He is our friend and he's not so far away. We welcome him to talk to us, sometimes face to face, 
and we feel his um, his presence even as we pray, as we invite him, as we get his attention, we feel him listening and we feel him talking back to us. Thank you so much. I hope you are blessed because I was blessed. And until next time, when we get to see each other in another 10 minute plugin uh, episode, uh, it is it has been yours, Abazida Joyce Murigi, telling you that I will see you at the top where the egos are. Bye-bye and God bless you. See you 